Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play DMC Devil May Cry. Uh, in the last part we uh, basically uh, Cat got kidnapped when the when um, when uh, oh, what's his name Mundus sorry fuck my brain when Mundus's forces uh, broke into the um, the rebels kind of um, base so they've kidnapped Cat and yeah so the next mission is us starting plans to rescue her so and it's also one of my favorite missions in the game so let's get going with mission 13 devil's dalliance there you are ah I'm not good to say it this time <laughs> needs to be like Bayonetta whatever um, so yeah cat got captured at the end of the last part by uh, Mundus's forces so we start off this part with a video. Seriously, Mundus, you've got a fuck ton of cash. Couldn't you, you know, got Say some better money? You know, couldn't you have done some better quality on your video footage? Doesn't have to be this shit. Cat seems to be in a bad way. Bird. Hmm. But I know uh, you mean something to this girl. I don't like him as a character. So I suspect huh. this girl means something <laughs> to you. Uh, I don't like Ver don't, um bleh. I don't like Mundus as a character, but at least here he's fairly kind of um that you are collaborating with the disturbing Nephilim. and you know, kind of I want the Nephilim. Disturbing and threatening at least. So uh, kind of I kind of like his portrayal here. That's a thin ass laptop. Interesting. Weird. Interesting. And just knows less than I thought. He knows my name, but that's it. Not that I'm your brother, nor that I'm Nephilim. She must have been strong to hold out. Yeah, she did well. But we can't save her. <laughs> Dante's is uh, taking exception to that. <laughs> it's kind of a weird. Um, it's something which is never really brought up. I don't think, or at least not in the Devil May in the main game. It might be brought up in D um, the DLC, Virgil's Downfall. I don't know. Um, but at least in the main game, it's never kind of brought up why Virgil is wearing kind of surgical gloves. <laughs> Here, I really don't understand why I guess they're trying to do a bit of a character kind of thing that maybe is a bit um, OCD a bit um, cleanliness overly clean you would risk the future of mankind for a girl cat put herself through hell to protect us we'll find another way to get Mundus Dante yeah <laughs> Here is where Virgil starts to become a bit of a prick, and it's the first kind of flashpoint between you know Virgil and Dante. Okay. We'll do it your way, brother. So yeah, first bit of anger there <laughs> from Dante. So they're going to come up with a plan. Mistress, Lilith, runs an so basically their plan here is to uh, kidnap Lilith and basically do a counter kind of um, <laughs> do a counter sort of proposal where um, <laughs> I'll mention this in a minute but um, yeah this kind of counter proposal where you know it's like Lilith and Mundus's son for cat basically Ha! Huh. He wrote fuck on a piece of paper. Yes, yeah, moments like that where I really hate this Dante, <laughs> but whatever. And so, as you'll notice here, we're pretty much back in the um, nightclub that we were in at the beginning of the game. 
ignore me? Let's dance! Not now! Hey! Yeah, well, fuck you, Dante! <laughs> yeah. Apparently this was a, uh, place for demons. This is a nightclub for demons. How Dante survived the first time here, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> I guess they just wanted to give him a full sense of security and then send the hunter at the beginning of the game to kind of um, get him the next day. That's disturbing. <laughs> I don't like that. You want to dance? Let's dance. Yay! Oh, look. oh, fuck! There you go, you're dead. And now you're dead. So yeah, I've uh, actually... Something which I didn't think about doing. Um, right up until... Something which I really didn't think about doing until now. Uh, was the uh, changing up of the costumes. Because you get, uh, with the uh, Definitive Edition, you get uh, costumes unlocked that you can use from the start of the game. I don't know how many there are roughly, but... Uh... Oh, shit! Oops! Get my ass kicked a little bit here. Yeah, let's use these a bit more because I like these weapons. There we go. Gotta see, that's not particularly good, but at least I got it done. There we go. I also really like the um, interactions between uh, Lilith and Dante throughout this game, throughout this level. It's really good. <laughs> I like that. Ah, <sighs> puns. Isn't that fun? Here we go then. So yeah, this is classic Dante costume. Doesn't look too bad actually, but um, yeah. I'll start. Uh, I think I'll start, you know, um, uh, showing off more of the costumes. Hi! Yep. Come here! Come here! There we go. Uh, where, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, I don't really like these. These are really, these enemies are pace breakers. But ooh, jump over. There we go. You're done. There we go, it's another one done. Yeah, let's keep killing. There we go. Brutal. You have no nice. idea who you're dealing with, do you? I'm dying to find out. Okay, and this is where it starts to get interesting and where this level starts to get um, a bit better. Yeah, so I can... should I? 
Not yet. Not yet. I'm not here to play your games. So yeah, this is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Hang on. Oh, you didn't show up before. Let's hit the uh, giant uh, YouTube play button. <laughs> this is why I like this. It's kind of stupid and ridiculous and off the wall a little bit, but um, it also is very, very. Um, <coughs> It's also visually very impressive. So yeah, you have to hold, hold the uh, right trigger to activate your demon weapon to not take damage while you're um, on here. Same with the angel weapon here. And when you're on these floors, you don't need to hold either. It's just a normal floor. How do you know my penis size? No, it's not tiny. Okay, let's uh, kill you. Yeah, this is a new type of uh, mechanic. This is a new type of mechanic where basically the floors will will change to a certain colour. Change to a certain colour, whether it be blue or red. If it's blue, then you have to use your angel weapon. And if it's red, you have to use your demon weapon. And this is why I love this level. It's just, um, it's so much more, um, kind of colourful and, uh, and it gives you some, uh, good platforming elements. It's also really good because it kind of suits the, uh, because it kind of, uh, suits the, um, uh, kind of, because it's in a, basically, because we're in a nightclub, and kind of fact that it's, like, music based. Is kind of cool. 30 seconds to kill off minions. All right. It's another one dead. There you go. You're dead. 10 seconds to spare. Easy. I also kind of like it because it has a s kind of a Super Mario Galaxy kind of feel in terms of the level design. Kind of weird platforming, which I kind of like. Let's go this way. Um, so yeah, I just, I just love this level. It's one of the few levels which actually has a genuine kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? It uh, feels genuinely different from the rest of the game. Bye. Fuck. Press the wrong button. Damn it. <laughs> I'm back here. Shit. Come on. Hurry up. How did I miss that? That's bullshit. Ah. I said I love the platform, didn't platforming, didn't I? Line it up. There we go. There we go. On to the next section. Right, on to the next section. It's essentially the same thing, I guess. It's just aesthetically looks a lot nicer and a lot more interesting. If you want to. All right, you're gonna die. Oh, you're. I help. I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> I'm getting my ass kicked to this this uh, level. To be honest, I'm not doing my best. Punch that YouTube play button. 
Oh, I've gone. There we go. Shit some spiders. Get some uh, red orbs. And let's head through this way. Oh, I think. Yeah. Stop with the puns. Stop with the innuendo, please. It's not fun. Okay. And there we go. Stay out of the way. Hang on, Lilith. Lost soul. Nice. And away we go. 